She captioned her Twitter post, Bon Appetit, <laughs> nothing mm. like a salad with a side of live frog. Bonus protein. Bonus protein, that's even better. <laughs> frog legs. Yeah, apparently, uh, like, apparently they apologized, the company, yeah. and then said, you know, if you wash it, you'll be fine. <laughs> Our retweeters were like, just I wash so. it, it's a frog. I don't think so. No, well, it's, don't it's eat the frog. It's probably been going to the bathroom on the lettuce oh, for gosh, a while. Oh, gosh, gosh. So. Well, that's just in general when you buy lettuce with all the insects. And this is getting yeah, gross. Wash it. It'll this be is all getting right. gross. <laughs> <laughs> on less than 24 hours, the case that shocks southern Indiana will return to Jeffersonville. Joseph Oberhansley is accused in the brutal murder of his ex girlfriend. Some of the details of this case are very disturbing. He's accused of cannibalism. Just in the last 30 minutes, the police presence has significantly increased. Take a look. Chestnut between 4th and 5th is completely closed. And if you come over here closer to 4th, people are being stopped. They cannot come anywhere past these police officers right here. The quarry is closed until next May, and this gate is completely locked. I had no luck calling, emailing, or messaging on Facebook, but in a statement on Facebook, the quarry said that Price was a licensed diver, and he'd been diving in these waters for over 20 years. The investigation is still open, and we're waiting on an autopsy that'll release Price's cause of death. I'm Kristen Goodwillie, WHAS 11 News.